2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Waste Management Phoenix Open is about to kick off. Delighted to have 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam in the booth. I'm Luke Elvey and it's a good morning to Henny Koyak who's out on the course following our feature group. Hi Luke, I'm very pleased to be covering this particular featured group because there's a fresh rivalry developing. I smell rivalry in the air. It's going to provide some great entertainment to both the spectators and us this week. Well, it looks like this player is aiming to beat Lexi Thompson, which very few people can boast. This should be an exciting showdown, Henny. Uh, Luke, Lexi's young but has been on tour for about 30 40 years it seems she's been playing forever she doesn't lack an experience she can do it all not to mention you'll be looking at her back for most of the day because she'll outdrive you yes lexi loves the long ball and so do we good luck in this rivalry because when lexi gets on top it's very hard to beat her this one's bunker bound It's a chance for a good shot here from the fairway bunker. Oh, almost went in. Oh, well played. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Yeah, he's staring down about 12 feet. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Oh, that's good grit there. That a way to grind it out in the bunker, but up and down for the birdie. Nicely done. Currently one under for the round. The second hole at TPC Scottsdale is a mid-range par four, playing 442 yards from the tips. The bunkers on the right side need to be avoided, which leaves a good mid to short iron approach to a green that is bunkered front, left and right. So a good accurate approach required. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh my, right by the hole. Oh, stop it, what a shot. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. Let's return to live play now. 11 feet left to the hole. This for back-to-back -back birdies. It's on a great line. Ooh, right by the hole. That's a disappointing par in the end after such a terrific shot in. And being a couple off the lead, they can't afford to miss those birdie opportunities. No point hanging on to that one. You didn't hit your best there. The ladies' game has been uh, dominated by Koreans for such a long time, but uh, America has been able to have this resurgence basically off the back of Lexi Thompson and the generation she's started to inspire. Lexi Thompson is so fun to watch because she's got a very unique swing, and when you look at it, you, you kind of 
look back and you go, okay, that went a long way. Okay, that went right at the hole. And she's got such control over her golf ball. It, it's amazing. And the winds are going to continue to pile up for her year after year. I'm blown away by the fact that she is so aggressive on every single shot. There is no laying up in her game, and I love that. Now, that might cost her a few wins, but I tell you what, she's going to have a lot of wins because of that as well. I love the way she plays the game. It's exciting. Taking things up a notch in this Lexi Thompson rivalry, that shot will add some fuel to the fire. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Beautiful shot. And he finds himself in a tie for third. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The par three fourth at TPC Scottsdale. Fairly straightaway hole, but bunkers again. Front, left and short right requires a pretty accurate and solid strike. That's a pretty handy shot. And he's hit that inside the range. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. A yeah, long-range putt coming up here. It'd be good to make a bomb, wouldn't it? She's got a great look at birdie here. This one looking really good. Shame it didn't drop. And back to the course with the live action. And this putt to move into a tie for second. This one's looking good. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Just one off the lead after that hole. The fifth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a strong par four, playing 470 yards from the back tees. There's a big bunker down the right-hand side that will catch any drive not hit with authority. The approach must be accurate with the bunker on the left-hand side. Anything just slightly missed here will be punished. Out a boy, good shot. Playing from around 150 yards here, just one stroke back in this tournament. Choosing the nine iron here. This one's going right at the pin here. Oh, that's great, it just missed the hole. Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. And as the scorecard suggests, heading up the leaderboard. The sixth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a solid mid-range par four. 432 off the back tees. And again, it's more position off the tee that's required here with the bunkers on the left-hand side. A bold play is to fly it over that bunker on the left and leave just a short wedge in. Bold players will get off this hole, but a safe strategy lays back before them. Oh. Nicely done. After a very consistent run of play over the last half a dozen starts or so, Rich, this player is coming with a whole heap of confidence, and they look to me to be one of the players to beat. Do you agree? We've seen this player time and time again. 
contend for tournaments and it is no surprise to see him doing it once again this week it is so fun watching this player they're in top form look at the line on this one get in the hole not a bad play that one let's take a look at Lexi Thompson shall we yeah, she's down, she's behind, her rivals scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. That did everything but drop. Let's get back to it, shall we? Trying to get to five under with this putt. Is on a good line. Just a four footer remaining. That gets the job done. He's currently in a share of top spot. The seventh here at Scottsdale is a par three. A straightaway hole, but bunkers left and right of this green ensure that a nice straight shot is required. That one seemed to get away from them, Rich. Blame the caddy. Here's Lexi Thompson. That's outstanding. Mark that down on the highlight reel. Okay, time to return to the action. Found the green side rough. Still, not a bad spot. And he needs this to save par. And now four under for the day. The eighth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a very strong par four, playing over 475 yards from the back tee. There's a couple of pot bunkers down the left-hand side that need to be avoided so you can get to the green in two. If you're going hard here, there's a tree on the right-hand side that can prevent a good second shot or a line to the green. Two well-struck shots required to get to this green, and even then, your par's not secure. like that didn't you time for the second shot at the eighth going with the seven Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. This is what they have left for birdie here. And after that hole, he's no longer sharing top spot. He's at the summit all alone. The finishing hole on the front nine at TPC Scottsdale is a par four measuring 453 yards from the back tees. It's plenty of room off the tee to the left just so you can avoid that bunker on the right there's a bunker short of the green here that needs to be avoided a short little pot bunker but two solid shots here will allow a chance for a birdie
Well, this should find the short grass. Sitting at five under par in their round. Currently in top spot. Going with the eight iron here. That's well played, pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. And a fantastic look upcoming. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Punt is underway. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. She made bogey, gave one back on the last hole. Oh, that one just missed the hole. So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. Well, this is where the knees start to knock. The sweat starts to appear on the palms of your hands, Rich. Just a slender lead with nine to play. Well, it's been great watching this player get the best of their rival, but still a long way to go until the end of this tournament. Let's see how it shakes out. Sitting at six under for the day, currently leading. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Oh, right by the hole. That was a beauty. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh, how good is that? Buries it for birdie as well. Well, that'll move her up the leaderboard as well. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Better than most. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will take him to seven under. Our leader is up by four shots now. The 11th is a par of four, playing 472 yards and a huge water hazard down the left-hand side. The best line is a drive as close to that water without taking it on. Anything that leaves about 150 to 170 yards in will give you a chance to set up birdie. Good shot there. Water becomes a real feature here in the final nine holes at TPC Scottsdale. Here we are exposed to it at 11. Second shot at 11 is very difficult. Water hugging the left-hand side. The bunker fronting the green is no fun. The one in the back part of the green is no fun. Anything out to the right is just fine. Yeah, that one's looking good.
Oh, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Got to like their chances. A seven footer right here. This is their look at birdie. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Well hold. Leading by four strokes after that one. The 12th for TPC Scottsdale is a par three measuring 192 yards off the back tees. Not much to this hole except the bunkers left to be avoided. Although water can sneak in on the right up near the green if anything is slightly pushed. Opting for the five iron. Oh, this has been a ball striking clinic. Another green in regulation. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens in regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Yes! And this is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Firm back up the hill. This will be a good one. He just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And that will take him to eight under. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. The 13th is one of the good scoring holes in the closing nine at TPC Scottsdale. It's a par five measuring 558 yards. Job one is to avoid that huge water hazard to the right or the tree on the left-hand side that juts out into the fairway. If you clear, you'll have a chance to knock it up near towards the green or just laying it back to a comfortable yardage of around 100, 125 yards. A chance for Birdie here to really ignite your charge. Good-looking shot, this. Five wins so far this season. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Absolutely. Love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. to be a bit of a misread a little too cautious on that effort there Luke and a quick look at the leaderboard has this player currently in first spot with Tony Finau second That's just not going to work for him. Penny, that ball seems to be sitting down. Is it bad? Oh, no. This is nasty. Just no. A bit wild on approach there. You come out of the rough, your distance control gets off.
Oh, I thought that one was going in. A par putt on the table. Yeah, we'll take that. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. She got one back on that last hole. Getting ready to play their third. That is a touch of class from the bunker. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. The 15th is a very important hole, the par five, 553 yards from the back tees. Either makes or breaks around here at TPC Scottsdale. That huge penalty area to the left is to be avoided if you're to make a decent score. A good drive will allow you to go for this island green in two. Although if you're too far back, no point taking it on as there's water everywhere to collect your ball. Laying up to the 115, 20 yard marker will give you just an easy wedge here and a chance to still make your birdie. Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. Going with the hybrid. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Players sitting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. And back to the play, shall we? Trying to get to 11 under with this putt. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. And the putt drops, now 11 under, heading down the stretch. Woo, that is some pretty good breathing room, out in front by a bunch. Currently in first position. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Welcome to the jungle, or as they call it here at TPC Scottsdale, the stadium hole par 316. It's just a short club, but you miss the green, and a chorus of boos will ring out. Found the surface. Good chance here. Nice well, to be a big putt to make. A birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. That's disappointing. Good chance this one, right on six feet. For the par. 
Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. And this one to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard. Oh, this looks pure. Cool. And after that effort, that's how it looks. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. This dramatic finish at TPC Scottsdale has no shortage of options at the 17th, Rich. If you've hit the driver but you miss the green, you got to miss it out to the right-hand side to have any hope of getting it up and down for the birdie. However, you knock it on this green in one, and you never know, you could make it two. Second shot here on the 17th hole. An opportunity for a booty here. That starts off on a good line. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. The finishing hole at TPC Scottsdale requires a great drive. The big water has it down the left-hand side and the church pew bunkers make it a very difficult drive. Anything out to those bunkers on the right will leave a good angle approach. But once you hit this shot, Make sure you get the right area on the green if you're to make your birdie. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Simply amazing power on that tee shot. This shot coming from around the 150-yard marker. Opting for the 9-iron. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. Well, all that hard work. That's well done to this player who was able to tame TPC Scottsdale and walk away with the WM Open victory. And an impressive victory it was there, Luke in front of 125,000 fans on this Sunday. That was impressive. And I've got to give props to my boy in the booth, Rich Beam. I think you picked this one at the start of the week, didn't you? Luke, it's just, it wasn't a difficult pick, let's be honest. This player has been consistent all season long getting the victory no surprise whatsoever really good stuff on behalf of rich beam henny kuyak john mccarthy i'm luke elvey saying so long from 2k sports